from the beautiful islands of the Caribbean and all around the world. Now, Super Boost your day with Pastor Happy. It could be a frustrating place to be when you are stuck in life. When you are stuck in life, some people they are stuck spiritually, some people are stuck physically, some people are stuck financially. Anybody ever found themselves in a place where you are stuck financially? Amen. Amen. I, I, let me talk to the people on this side. Have you ever been stuck financially? <laughs> when you stuck financially, it could be quite frustrating. Yeah, anybody tell you good morning, you're upset just for good morning. <laughs> Because you were stuck financially. And when you, you see, when you're stuck financially, you start hearing voices. Uh. Even what people then say, you will swear you heard it. Uh. <laughs> that's, that's financial money voice talking to you. And I said this to you, even when you go to the, to the supermarket, even the dead chicken is talking to you. Because you pick up the chicken and you know in your, in your pocket all you have is $5. And that chicken is $8. The dead chicken is telling you, put me down, put me down. And you have to pull that chicken down because you will just stop financially. You're not going anywhere when you're stuck financially. So in life, sometimes we find ourselves when we're stuck emotionally. Have you ever been in a relationship? It's like the relationship is not going anywhere. It could even be marriage relationship. And it's like, well, it seems like nothing is really happening in this marriage. Sometimes in life we find ourselves where we are stuck, so we need to build up ourselves. In other words, we need to go up. Say, I need to go up. By the way, how many of you are satisfied where you are tonight? Well, I didn't see any hand up, so, okay. All right, you're satisfied where you are. But how many of you would like to go higher? Amen. So you build up yourself. You want to grow up. You want to be more fruitful. Amen. It says building up yourself. Building up yourself. Now, I like this because nobody else is going to build you up. It's good people encourage you, but they can't build you up. Nobody can build you up. You have to what? Build up yourself. Say, I have to build up myself. You see, this race is an individual race. I know you love your husband, you love your wife, you love your children, you love your friends, but you have to build up yourself. As much as they love you, there are some things you have to do for yourself. Before we come back to Jude, let's go to Joshua chapter 1. And this is what the Lord said to Joshua. Joshua chapter 1, verse 8. He says, The book of the law shall not depart out of thy mouth, but thou shalt do what? Meditate. Somebody say meditate. Uh -huh. Meditate in it. Day and night. Dwell in the word of God. Some of you, the problem is you meditate on the wrong things so much. Many people, they meditate on things that bring fear to them so much. Some people, they meditate on who failed, who things didn't work out for them, who is struggling, instead of meditating on the Word of God. He said, meditate in the Word of God day and night. I know you have some medical report. I know the bank told you some, some kind of sad news. I know you're at work. They gave you some kind of suspension letter, maybe termination letter, but still meditate on the Word of God. The Bible never said meditate on your situation. He never said meditate on your situation. He said, but meditate on the word of God uh, uh, day and night that thou mayest what? Observe. So in other words, you do what you meditate. You cannot do something that you do not meditate. Whatever is in your mind, that's what you are going to do. So the question is, what do you have in your mind? People are wicked because they have wickedness in their mind. So what is in your mind is what you are going to do. But that's not just the message I'm really trying to pull out of this. It's a look to the part that says, Say, for then thou shalt do what? Let's do it again. For then thou shalt make thy way prosperous, and then thou shalt have what? In other words, he said, then I will make my way prosperous. Who is going to make my way prosperous for me? I have to do it for myself. 
who is going to make your way prosperous for you. You have to do it for yourself. So you have to build yourself. If you're going to prosper, if you're going to be successful in life, in your walk with the Lord, you have to do it. It's entirely up to you. Amen. Amen somebody. It's entirely up to you what you do with the word of God. That's why, you see, everybody comes to church, but not everybody is blessed by the same message or the same ministry or even the same worship. You see, that's why when worship is going on, some people, they're crying, they're messing up their makeup. And they have some people, their face is dry. As a matter of fact, they ain't feeling anything. You always start singing yet to them. You see, the same message, the same atmosphere, the same word that is blessing some people may not be blessing some people. So it's entirely up to you. That's what the Bible says. The gospel that was preached to us was the same gospel that was preached to them, but it did not profit them that heard it because they didn't what? Mix it with faith. Tell your neighbor, mix the word with faith. Tell somebody nothing is wrong with the word. It's entirely up to you what you do with the word. Amen. Does that make sense? Does that make sense? The same gospel we're hearing in the Caribbean, that's the same gospel they're hearing in India. That's the same gospel they're hearing in the Amazon jungle. That's the same gospel they're hearing in Africa. Amen. No, it's the same gospel. But it's what you do with the gospel that determines the type of result you are going to get. Amen. Are you hearing me, somebody? Are you hearing me, somebody? It's what you do. It's like there were crowds pulling at Jesus, pressing through. But one woman touched the same Jesus that everybody had been touching. But in her mind, in her heart, she said to herself, If I may but touch the hem of his garment, I'm going to be middle. She came to Jesus on purpose. Do you come to church on purpose? Do you hear the word on purpose? Do you read your Bible in the morning, do your devotion on purpose, expecting God to speak to you? Do you go to bed on purpose with notebook by the side of your bed and saying, I'm not tonight, God will speak to me. I know tonight I'm going to get an answer. I'm expecting a breakthrough. Do you come on purpose? Sir? It's entirely up to you what you do. Nothing is wrong with the word. I think First Peter chapter 1 verse 20. 1 or 23. He says the word is what? Incorruptible seed. Someone say incorruptible seed. So that means nothing is wrong with the word. Thank you for watching Super Booster Day with Pastor Happy. For more information about Pastor Happy and Thy Kingdom Come Deliverance Sanctuary, please visit us online at www.kingdomdeliverance.org and on Facebook. Go to www.facebook.com forward slash Pastor Happy. While in the beautiful Caribbean Spice Island, Grenada, we'd love to have you at one of our super services at any one of our locations. It's more than a church. It's life transformation.